Part of ISIL's sophistication comes from its use of social media that may have played a role in the Paris attacks. And the terrorist group is using it to make more threats and recruit others to their campaigns. CCTV's Jim Spellman joins me on the set with more on this. And you and I have talked about this extensively. They it's are huge. very sophisticated. And here's what's changed in the last couple of years. Smartphones. We all have one. They've become ever more powerful. ISIS knows how to use this technology. Propaganda by terrorist groups, nothing new. But the Islamic State is taking it to a whole new level. It's the latest salvo in an online battle as hacking group Anonymous declares it's going to war with the Islamic State. We are going to launch the biggest operation ever against you. Expect many cyber attacks. War has been declared. The video declaration from Anonymous comes as ISIL uses its own video to threaten attacks in Washington, D.C. I swear to God, as we struck France and its stronghold, Paris, we will strike America and its stronghold, Washington, with God's will. Videos like these have been used by ISIL and other terror groups to recruit new members, threaten hostages, and take credit for attacks. Now they are using these videos to promote life in the so-called caliphate of the Islamic State. One recent video highlights the ISIL Agriculture Administration, wheat being harvested and baked into bread. Another shows what it claims to be doctors tending to the sick. And this disturbing video shows what appears to be dozens of children in an Islamic State school. They read from the Koran, eat lunch, play soccer, and then receive training with Kalashnikov rifles. And they're clearly targeting multiple audiences. I think they're targeting sort of people in theater who have access to social media, and I think they're targeting the West. And they're trying to make the case that they're, they're not just a bunch of savage, ruthless terrorists running around the countryside, that they're actually making a better life for their citizens. It's unclear if ISIL's propaganda efforts will slow after the apparent killing in a U.S. airstrike last week of its most prominent English-language spokesman, Mohammed Mwazi, also known as Jihadi John. I think we make too much of it. There will be someone else to put on a mask and carry out gruesome beheadings and executions of prisoners. I don't think it does much to stop their propaganda machine. Western governments have struggled to combat ISIL's message online. Twitter has shut down some ISIL-linked accounts, but increasingly the terrorists are turning to encrypted messaging services like Telegram to distribute propaganda and possibly plan attacks. The Telegram app allows one-on-one -on -one conversations between users that are difficult or even impossible for authorities to decode. The app also features what it calls channels that allow accounts to broadcast messages, pictures, or videos. ISIL used this app to spread its claims of responsibility for the Paris attacks, Ossie. Well, I just have to say the most disturbing part about your piece, those children sitting there that young getting the ISIL and, training. And portrayed as if this is just a normal everyday yeah, every occurrence. Day at school. So let me ask you about ISIL. Have they responded to the threat by Anonymous? Well, Anonymous says they've already knocked down about 5,500 ISIL-related Twitter accounts. In a statement, ISIL has responded to Anonymous, calling them idiots. The statement was released on Telegram, as have been all of their significant announcements in the last wow. two months or so.